Okay, so today we're gonna check out some more effects with this Ruri plugin here in Figma. Of course, you can do this in Illustrator and I did many tutorials about it. You can also check those out. I'm gonna leave the links in the description. So let's see what we can do with this. So if you wanna access this plugin, all you need to do is go here to the actions, open it up and go to the plugin and widgets and search for Ruri lines. And it's gonna appear here, click on run. I'm gonna select it because it's already installed. And I'm gonna go up here, we're gonna upload a new file and I'm gonna select the Nike swoosh, click on open. So basically this is how it's gonna look like at the baseline with a really cool emboss effect. So what we're gonna need to do is go here first to the lift and we're gonna decrease this to zero. And then I also gonna increase the weight. And here we can uncheck the horizontal. So now it's gonna show it up vertically. And then here we got the baselines. If you uncheck it, you can see it is going to eliminate the interior part of the logo. And then I'm gonna increase the weight and increase the line as well. And next we're gonna go to the dynamic weight and activate. And you also can invert the weight, but I think the first one is pretty nice. And then we're gonna select the invert. I'm gonna invert it. And I'm gonna go to the export, select the SVJ, click on export. And here I'm gonna go and search for the file. And here we have it. Okay, so we got that one. And now we're gonna go back to Ruri. And now what we're gonna need to do is select the invert. It is going to invert it. And we're gonna go and invert the weight. So it's gonna look like that. And not but least export it as an SVJ. There you go. So now we got these two guys trying to match each other, which is really cool. I always can go here to the standpoint and change it to round. And I'm gonna try to select the other one as well and flip it to around. Now this looks pretty impressive. I'm gonna change up the color, make it dark. So now I have something really interesting. So this was some of the effect I wanted to try it out. You can do it in Illustrator too. It won't cost you extra. So pretty much that's it and thanks for watching.